How we doing, everyone? This is Sprangboro Sessions, episode number 68. I am Jamie. We have Ty. How's everybody doing? And we have TJ. What up? And with our powers combined, we are Sprangboro Sessions. Sessions. The number one podcast that I'm on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, yeah. How's it going, Ty? What are you up to, bud? Oh, uh, enjoying a very nasty, cold rain day oh, inside. Yeah. Uh, kids just woke up from naps there about an hour and a half ago, so they are pumped full of energy running around. That's why I'm in the bedroom today instead of out where I'm normally at. Uh, secluded away in my man cave, if you will. Um, Cheers to man but, caves. Yeah. <laughs> Here's to man caves. <laughs> Oh, man awesome. caves are pretty awesome. I mean, maybe oh, they it's, are. Maybe it's because I'm a man and I feel that a cave is natural, you know, like a lion <laughs> or a uh, bunny or, you know, a stink bud. That cave's always great. I'm just saying. <laughs> caves, caves are good. That's awesome. The, uh, the other fun thing that I was saving for the cast was. Uh, this upcoming Saturday is my wife's 27th birthday. And uh, birthday. I, yeah, we'll both be 27 at the same time, but Jesus it worked Christ. out. That I forget how young you are. <laughs> yeah, getting older every day, buddy. Getting older every day, though. So I'm going to be 28 in uh, a month. So, yeah. Anyway, we hadn't been out on a dinner date for, I don't know, nine, ten months, and that one was the first one we actually got to go on since we've had the kids, where it was just us. So last night, I went and took her to the fanciest little restaurant around, spent a little more money than I expected to, but I was going to do that regardless, like we were going to have a good time. And uh, yeah, we went out, we ate some fancy stuff, had some calamari. I don't know if you guys ever had calamari before. I but, love uh, calamari. I mm -hmm. love it. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Has a Not all the time, but once in a while, it's all right. I live by oh, the yeah. ocean, man. Calamari is the shit. <laughs> I'm I'm clear out here in the cornfields of the Midwest, so that's a <laughs> it's a more of a delicacy for us, I guess. You get, but, you get fresh uh, calamari. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah, this is really fun because they had like all these those sliced rings, and then they had the little itty bitty calamari all around yeah. the plate. And my wife, yeah, the, the, the rings are the the the, the head part. The big belly uh, part, that's the rings. Okay. Well, I thought the tentacles were pretty good, too. It was, no, it was all just good. a crunchy, little rubbery kind of fish type of thing. And I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I mean, <laughs> I'd eat it again. And I got oh, a yeah. steak, medium rare. Uh, very, very, very chewy, though. I mean, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's really good. But, yeah, we had a good time. We had a lot of martinis. The name of the place is Martinis. It's top 100 most scenic restaurants in the United States. Uh, oh, wow. So, yeah, it, it's kind of cool. Like, it's it's the nicest one around here. And I took her there for her 21st birthday. And in my head, I was thinking we'd been there like three, four years ago. I couldn't remember when I took her, but I was like, yeah, it's like three, four years ago. And that was seven. Seven years, which is almost a decade, which just blew my mind. I mean, it all went by that quick because that was even before we had kids and everything. I mean, we had just been moving in together. So, yeah, time flies. We all know that, though. Oh, and nine months from time. now, you guys will have another kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jamie, so you got any uh, anything you'd like to share on that subject? Not at this time. <laughs> Not at this time. <laughs> so, yeah, it's uh, it, it was a good, good night. Um, we went and ran around and grabbed a couple things, and then... We had a we had a good night. I mean, we came home. It was like two o'clock in the morning before we went to bed, uh, which we didn't even realize it was two o'clock in the morning. You know, we ate dinner, and then eating dinner at like nine thirty. Went and hung out at some friend's house, uh, which is Elaw. I don't know. You know, you yeah, guys yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. Went and hung out at his house with his wife and watched some funny videos on YouTube. And I sobered up a little bit because I was going to be the driver. So I'd only had like two martinis at the at the place, but uh, that, not even that big. Ones. But that's. But I had two. 
I my wife had like three and a half because I just kept like I drank like a quarter or a third of one. I'd be like, here you go. I want to try this next one. And we just kind of <laughs> kept doing that. Let her, and then she was ordering. Basically, whichever one I would try, she would order that one next. She's like, I want that one. And uh, it was a good time. Yeah, it was a really Sam? good time. Yeah, you need that every now and then. Oh, yeah, man. You deserve it. At least once every seven you years. So, you work so hard, you know, taking care of business. You know, is. for us, we have appointment in in a few weeks, blood work and stuff. That's where we are with that, to my knowledge. Okay. You know? um, nice, nice. Good Yes, I'm, you know, pretty excited to see what's going to happen, you know. Um, <clears throat> I have not uh, seen these faces in a few weeks. So uh, the last time I got to see TJ here was uh, face-to-face. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> I got, Dude, I got to tell you about this, this one moment. I, we were talking about it at the show the other night. <laughs> I tell everybody, I said, so TJ and I was jumping in the car and getting ready to head to Austinburg, you know, out to Ohio, go play a show. And uh, we're dri- we're driving out of my town. And I'm sitting there like this, you know, just driving. Like a dick. I, I reach over and I put my hand on top of his. I said, I was like, sorry, sorry. Dude, the, mo- the moment was perfect. The lighting was right. I said, I just, you know, I went for it. <laughs> we fucking laughed 10 minutes about it. Sitting there, like, like my hand on the car. It was all quiet. It was all quiet. We were both just in the moment. Looking out the nice country, the nice countryside and everything. It's yeah. looking all nice. and going to do it all of a sudden. I feel a. <laughs> dude, dude, we, we laughed we laughed so hard dude, dude i was almost was crying yeah oh, you're like dude beer first jesus oh that was it was, so, it was so funny it was so that was funny. too good we, we just no laughed. man but that that yeah. show though was that show was fucking awesome man we had, we i took had, so much video and they're all on YouTube. So, yeah, you know. yep, all you the videos I took. Them. Yeah, I went out there. Realized, I, you were there videotaping the show when you were visiting him. That's yeah, really yeah. awesome. Yeah, I went and I uh, videotaped it. Uh, I took a bunch of pictures, too. Next time I go, though, I'm bringing... I'm bringing the old SLR, the old camera the old camera with me, and then I'm going uh, to take some like real pictures. My phone did really good. That, those pictures, like... Those oh, pictures came man. out fucking pictures good for a cell phone. Oh, um, yeah. And the videos even the videos even came out. You, I don't think you'd be able to tell it was on a fucking cell phone. You know. Oh but, no! Um, everything sounded great. That's why I posted them all on YouTube. Oh yeah, so I took uh, I took a bunch of that, but I wasn't able to take like, I didn't want to take like full songs because I only had so much battery and the video size and all that. So I didn't want to just I didn't want to just all of a sudden get like through half the show because it was a four hour show. So I didn't want to get through like half the show and then I'm fucking dead battery, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I tried to take like stuff that he could use portions of, you know. So you have like some of a song, most of the song on it, or you know, songs that were you know their original. I wanted to get all their original songs, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, it was it was an awesome show, man. It was really really cool. That place was was definitely like I definitely want to next time I come up, I want to make sure you guys are playing there try and schedule it around that because that was that was like fucking that was a really 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 cool place yeah man when we plugged in my system to the big surround sounds because they have their own system there and yeah you know they have four speakers that are like as tall as i am you know four of those plus under the stage stage dude that place 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 they don't have have anybody there that knew how to run it but Uh, yeah, you know, I think they were doing the best that they could with the uh, tool yeah, that they yeah. had at the time. Uh, but yes, well, there was like this sound issue. It was mostly, I think, probably something that I probably did or whatever. Uh, no, it was just a button that was pushed for all. That was I put. You know, button. they have their system, and, and because they had their own set of songs and stuff, they wanted to use their own system in between our sets. So I would have to literally disconnect my system. And hook their system back up to their speakers, mm-hmm. so they can. Which we have a solution for now, so but we know. Yes, we now, know I, yeah. now I now have, we know what we can do. Everything <laughs> I, now I have everything you know I need to be prepared for that situation. But uh, yeah, so 
we were trying to get theirs to work and it wouldn't. And we hooked it back up to mine and it worked great. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. We don't, you know, I said, we, we could figure it out or you can just use my stuff. So they ended up using my stuff. And at the end of the night, we found that there was two buttons that somehow got pressed in and we engaged them and then their system was working. Thank goodness. Because yeah. I'm like, I'm, first thing I said, I ain't touched nothing. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm like, no, it definitely was. It was definitely was not something that you did. It was just something got jostled when we were t- when you were unplugging everything and plugging it back know. in. So, you like know? I said, it was most likely me. I don't know, you know, but it's not worth looking back at it. You know, it yeah, was just no. what we dealt with for three quarters of the night. It was like oh, it was still great. Goodness. It was still an awesome, still but, an awesome. But night. yeah, but we had a great time. We uh, for the electric slide lady. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> the, the one lady that kept asking asking TJ to come up to tell the band uh, to play the electric slide and stuff. And they were asking us and TJ comes up and he's like our little bouncer. He's like, he's like, I don't think they'll be playing that this evening. I don't, um, I think they'll can play something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going old school. And then, then this like little time, like this, little, this, this chick came up to TJ and she's like, are you a band? <laughs> what she wants? She goes, it was a, it was a, it was two girls. It was a bigger girl and a little girl. And the big girl came up to me. And they, they both had been looking over at me a bunch of the night. They'd been looking. I caught them like looking over. So I'm like, oh god, here we go. Oh god, yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna have a baby in Ohio. <laughs> so, I'm like, all right, fuck, here we go. So the big one comes over, and I'm like, oh shit. So I'm, like, I'm not jumping on a grenade tonight. Sorry, it's not happening. <laughs> she comes over and she goes, excuse me, are you with the band? She like leans over and says, are you with the band? And I'm like, uh, kinda. <laughs> and? Because <laughs> I've been going up and I've been recording. He'd been, you know, he'd been there helping you know, out with everything. Up, thing. Yeah. up on the and stage. And I was, up, you know, in between oh, sets, I'd go up and go back with them out back. Stop hanging with the band. And, uh, <laughs> and so she goes, my friend wants to know if the drummer's single. And I go, oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> We're like, he's married, lady. Married to the music. I'm like, I'll find out for you. I'll let you know. I didn't want to be like a dick about it. Dude, we'll play shows yeah. and stuff, and I'll be like yelling out in the crowd. I'm like, we're going to have a raffle tonight. We're going to raffle off a date with Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> is Jimmy single? Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah, Jamie at the end of the show, he's like, I want to say thank you to T- my buddy TJ on over coming out from Massachusetts. Everybody looked over at me from fucking Massachusetts to see the show. <laughs> I say, yeah, my buddy Drew, who drove here from Massachusetts to come watch the show tonight. They're all like, <laughs> Of course, awesome. no, but uh, yeah, so no, it, was, it was a good time. It was really, it was, it made it, it, it was definitely like a really good long. I mean, it was, I was only there what two days. Yeah. I got there Friday night, left Sunday or Monday morning, I left, so technically four days, but I got, I didn't get there till like eight o'clock Friday night. Um, and then so, we played, then we played uh, Split Gate until the wee hours yeah. of the morning. Yeah, I just took a, I took a vacation day on Friday, and then I had Monday off for a holiday. I took a vacation day for that, but nice. I found out it was a holiday, so I didn't have to use a vacation day. But Even um, better. yeah, but uh, yeah, no, it was definitely worth it, man. Like the drive, like it was eleven hours, but a little over eleven hours, well, almost twelve, because I took I took a, a little detour and got some heat on the way. But um, I took like the on the way there, I took the the no toll route. So, um, it took a little bit longer. Yeah, but it was so much better of a drive. Like, because when you go the toll route, it's, well, the last time I took the toll route, there was actually toll booths a few years ago. Now there's no toll booths as far as I, on the way back, I didn't hit any toll booths. It was all electronic. Toll by mail. Or toll by plate, whatever they call it. And, uh, so, I don't know what I don't know if that's the same way going there still because I think I took a different route back than I took there the last time. So because I was trying to avoid tolls as much as I could because I was like I'm not in any rush to get home. It's just, you know why you know why pay for all that toll to just to get home an hour an hour earlier. You know what I mean? Like I'm already driving ten hours. What's eleven hours? You know? <laughs> I'm like fuck it. Right. So yeah, the ride there. 
was beautiful. Like all through the mountains, there was like a shitload of casinos. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was a really, it was a really, it was a much better ride there this time than it was the last time I took it because there was a way more traffic, like way more tractor trailers. I think I only saw like 10 or 12 tractor trailers the whole ride there on the route that I took this, this last time. Um, and it was just, it was a lot, it felt a lot calmer as far as like being in traffic. You know, when you get in that traffic with like a couple of tractor trailers going down a hill and you're like, dude, this guy better be paying attention behind me or I'm going to have a fucking, you know, 18 wheeler in my fucking back. You're going to have a <laughs> TJ gonna sandwich a, light on the yeah. TJ. So, yeah, I would have been mad. It's all over the place, grill. But it was, it was, it was definitely nice. Yeah, I was, yeah awesome. I, I was sure glad he came down, man. We had ourselves a good time. Uh, yeah, I um, I showed I've him how looking. I showed him how boring my life is and how much <laughs> I love it's it. Though. Same as mine. <laughs> he was like, he's like, I know this isn't really that entertaining. I was like, this is perfectly fine by me. <laughs> I'm kicking my feet up in the garage, like this is all right. This works fine. I didn't come here to do anything exciting except see a show. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> but, That's um, awesome. I've been looking at, at places out there. Um, so I'll probably be I'm a, I'm gonna be applying this uh this coming week and when I start looking at jobs out there and stuff. I've already looked at them, I'm just gonna start putting in applications and talking to them and seeing what the prospects are and, and all that. Because Cape Cod is just getting and the incentive. Yeah, the Massachusetts is just getting way too way too expensive to live here. Um, so, I mean, worst case scenario is I go work at a warehouse at PepsiCo. Yeah, not too, too bad. It's up like up to like $18 an hour doing that. Or, um, a, a, a not too bad scenario, in my opinion, would be, uh, going to tractor trailer school for driving go. trailers. So, um, and a lot of those jobs are local jobs that you work, you know, you work locally or home by the nighttime. And those pay really fucking well. And they, they teach you while you're learning. Or train you, or pay you while you're learning. Sorry, teach you while you're learning. Of course, they teach you while you're learning. But, CDL um, completely opens yeah. up, like, so many doors. Um, and right now, yeah. there's, like, $5,000 sign-on bonuses to go do it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of good incentives. Um, and the job place afterwards. A lot of places that do the the tra pay you while you're training thing, you work for them after you know that company afterwards. Nice. So yeah, it's uh, it's there's some good prospects out there that I'm, I'm looking at. We'll see what happens. I Thank just I, I I I hate to leave like you know a bunch of my family here, but my even my sister when I, when I, my biggest worry was my sister. You know what I mean? Because me and my sister are pretty close. Um. So my biggest my biggest worry was she was going to be upset that I was leaving because I don't want to upset my sister. I love my sister. Um, yeah. No offense to our brothers if you're watching. I love you guys too, but you know, <laughs> you don't really, you don't really talk or hang out that much. So you know, <laughs> you want to come see me? I'll have a house. <laughs> so, but no, I've been looking at houses out there. I saw some some really good ones in Erie for like under eighty thousand. Like, oh, really good two, three-bedroom houses. Not, like, excellent condition, but, you know. For, oh, yeah, still good houses. I mean. For, five, for 500 bucks a month, you know what I mean? Like. It's not bad. Not, not a lot of big land. The, I tried I tried in Jamie's area, like, closer to Jamie's town, Springboro and stuff, and, and um, yeah, Rocket Rocket Mortgage doesn't really do anything out there. So it's a little bit tougher. I'd have to, I'd have to go through like a, just a straight bank. So it'd be a little bit harder because my credit score isn't like all that fantastic. So I'd, yeah. I would need a, I would need a larger down payment where like Rocket Mortgage, I wouldn't need as much of a down payment. So yeah, so it's either that or I might just get the get the job, get an apartment to live in or a room or whatever, move out there, squirrel some down payment away, and then buy once I'm there. But we'll see. Nice. Well, when I got my house, <clears throat> I originally went through the USDA. Okay. Dot, dot gov, and I applied for that because they uh, help with closing costs and uh, lots of stuff like that. They, like, I don't think I had closing costs 
at all. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and the down payment to make a bid on a house, you know, they try. They told me like to put down like two grand or something, and I'm like, I'll, yeah, like three percent. I'm yeah. like, I'll put down five hundred bucks, <laughs> and that's what I put down. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, everything I'm looking at is like three grand at least. For you know, they want like three percent. Um, Dude, if I told you what I what I paid to get my house here and all the little things, you know, because you got to get the home inspection, you got to get all that, you got to get everything up to code and whatever, you know. But for what I did and what I actually paid, like the initial cost to get it, you would probably just start laughing like I told you the funniest joke of your life. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I, I, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to talk with you later then about what the way you went to get that uh, assistance there. I have to look. I hadn't looked into that. I just went straight to to uh, what's it called, Rocket Mortgage or whatever. Yes, uh, we can definitely discuss that uh, after the podcast while we're playing video games together, mm-hmm. eating potato chips. At least <laughs> I'll be eating potato chips. chips. Um, but I would lo- see, I'll, I'll be drinking right. my carbs. That's right. <laughs> um, so tomorrow, which is Monday, uh, the 25th, uh, I would like to say a big happy birthday to you, to my friend, Mr. Scott learn everybody in the house. Dude, I'm it's telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> listen, so we played Friday night, right? And, uh, we had my buddy Donch run sound. And Scott come out and, you know, a bunch of the people come out and hung out. And uh, Scott got up and we we were singing Tennessee Whiskey because that dude <laughs> can sing the snot out of that song. Yeah. And, and I was hitting those high harmonies. The bands, everybody's playing their part. Do, 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 do. You know, like it was just so cold. And uh, Jerry and I use those, and Rick, you know, we all use those harmonizer pedals that, you click it and it engages it and it makes the harmony multiply your voice multiply to sound like, you know, harmonies. Nice. There's a reason why they cost so much, but they're bad as hell. And, uh, there are actually a lot of problems for sound people, but <laughs> we'll, we'll save that for another podcast. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm like, I'm like, Hey Scott, he said, what? I'm like, Hey dude, your harmonies are right there. And I pointed at the blue pedal on the ground. He looked up at me and he says, my harmonies are right there. And I'm pointing at me and I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, I guess there's something to be said about that. Let's go for the top. <laughs> oh, so funny. So happy birthday, Scott. If you, if you happy birthday, out. buddy. It was good seeing you when happy I was birthday. on. Man. Yeah, TJ and Scott got to hang out and kick it. Yeah, that was cool, man. I hadn't seen Scott since the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, we had, we definitely had a good time out there in Austin. Yeah, Oregon, that's for sure. <laughs> TJ, yeah. I come up to him after the first set. And I'm like, yep, I had a beer. He's like, yeah, me too. I had another one in my hand. I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I know you don't drink very often. So, you know, if you want another one right now, he's like, oh, I don't want one right now. But if I do, I'll let you know. I'm like, good. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah. I was like, well, so are you driving back? <laughs> I was like, I know you drove like 10 or 11 hours to see me, but are you driving us back? He's like, well, yeah. I'm like, all right, sweet. Beer, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I was laughing so hard. We had a good time though, man. Yeah, we was, we stopped at the truck stop. I guess I only had like what, and shit. not even a quarter of that beer. <laughs> it, was, it was like a quarter of the beer, and I was just like, nah, just not feeling it. <laughs> yeah, we, we had a good time, man. That's all I know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much you know things been going on for me. Um, so. As we have found out in the past, uh, with me trying to do streams of the band uh, to do a live stream, what I did and did not do, and things that I've learned along the way, we've discussed it on this podcast a handful of times. So I won't get too involved in you know recapping some of the things. But uh, now is the time where it's getting cold out, 
So I'm planning on setting everything up for recording music in the, st the studio and recording, you know, videos like like this. Um, so to anyone that had, had seen the first one in the basement or whatever, you know, I had a lot of sound issues because we were trying to get everything going. I couldn't get it going. So we forced all that sound on one microphone. It just wasn't good. Then the second time, it was like I finally got it a lot better, but it wasn't ideal. Got the studio set up, set everything up out there. We did a live stream, and it was a lot better. I had two cameras going, so I had one scene over here that was what we called gym cam. <laughs> That's the money maker. So you know, for all the single ladies to donate, you know, <clears throat> and then uh, near it, I had the other webcam that had you know jerry rick and myself all in it and i got it to a pretty good place you know like the show was going all right and uh you know we had a couple things that i had learned you know about making sure notifications are turned off especially when people are like trying to blow up your uh facebook messenger to say hey say we're friends on the air <laughs> and i'm like huh like no you know like I checked the dinging, you know, when we would take breaks. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. So I've learned that the next time we do that, if we stream to Facebook, then I'm going to turn off the notifications. So that way it doesn't, you don't hear the dinging. Uh, and then I told one person that was messaging me, I'm like, I'm like, hey, please stop that. Like, I get it. You're trying to be funny, but we're literally trying to do this live stream right now. Can you please not blow up my phone right now? Um, and I felt bad having to tell that, tell someone that, but that was a thing that day. So, <clears throat> moving forward, so now I have it set up, and uh, I have a USB extension go down the middle from the control room down mm -hmm. to the right. So, I'm going to have one camera there that's right in front of Rick, and then I have another extension that I bought that's gonna, that goes down and goes to the left, and then it's got another webcam that I already got. Uh, that's going to pick up me. And then I have another webcam and extension right in the front middle. So that way we have it right on Jerry. And then I have another one that I bought a 25 foot extension for, for back to the back for gym cam, because instead of it being on the post and just pointing down at the drums that are really close, I'm going to offset it to the side to where, and put it like in one of the beams. So then it comes onto the side and you can see them you know, like like he's staring right at the snare drum, basically that yep. that view. So it's going to have that. Nice. It's going to have everybody. And the reason why I want to do that, um, because I have also learned that I could take the same video feed and crop out, you know, multiple times to different people, to different, you know, things to make multiple scenes and make <laughs> things. But to make it easier on myself, I just got a couple more webcams, you know, over the last year. Um, to set up so I have four going at all times. Yeah. Uh, so then everybody has an individual webcam. So another problem that I went through the last time, which I was getting to that point, I apologize, I go down that rabbit hole. So I go back and I'm watching the show, right? And uh, I had just spent like 50 bucks on this new webcam. And uh, I press, you know, I'm watching the live stream that we did. And I'm noticing right off the bat that when Jerry went to sing or something that, you know, we're on a downbeat, yeah. we, our video was always like a second off. So you have the music playing and everything's going and sounding great. You look at Jim Cam and Jim's on point, man. Every time that thing made a snare tap, his stick was dropped to the bottom of the rotation. There was no lag in it. There was no variances. There was none of that. But the new webcam that I bought, it would lag on me, as I found out, because oh, it kind of gave me a little bit of problems that day, you know, setting it up. Like, I would have to shut my whole system down, restart it to get this webcam working with my Streamlabs OBS. Um, so I found out a week or two ago, I think it was last weekend, I found out that if I shrink it down, because it's defaulted in OBS to go to the highest quality. So I dumbed it down to 800 by 600 and in shrinking it down in those meant that many pixels and whatnot, I was able to sync it up with the other webcams, the other, because I had three of them going last weekend, just trying to figure it all out. 
<clears throat> and uh, so I figured out the better camera, you, you just have to bring it down to slow it down because with that much going and counter counteracting each other, um, I find that my cheaper mic, you know, I would have to buy four great, great webcams or I would have to back and downgrade. So what I chose to do is downgrade. So yeah. uh, I bought two of the webcam that I already had that works good. Um, you know, it's not over crispy and like HD or nothing. But yeah, you bring them down to the you bring them down to the weakest link. That way, they're all running yeah. at the same. So yeah. so now I'm going to have all four of those webcams because I have another one that's a different brand, but it, it it's it, it worked great already. So yeah, by uh, by the end of like either next weekend or the weekend after, I'll have all of the cameras up set in place. So when the guys come over to have a band practice, we can record us play a song, and I can have all four of us in a box all jammed together with us playing the song the logo i'm thinking in the middle or something like that um i'm gonna end up putting a qr code on it um, because qr codes are becoming very popular a friend of mine has been encouraging me to do it so actually anyone that watches this podcast this video um on youtube uh, that I'll have it posted later. You will see that there is a QR code at the bottom left-hand side of your screen. And if you scan that with your cell phone under a QR scanner or defaulted, you know, to whatever does it automatically, it should bring yeah, you right to the Facebook Sprang Bro Sessions page if you want to uh, like that and give that a, fo a follow. Um, eventually, I'll put, like, the YouTube page and, you know, those other things. You will notice yeah, that. Yeah, I like some that. But so yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, yeah. Well, then I won't have to put it on the on this video if you're if it's linking to the Facebook. Then they'll already be on Facebook if they see my video. So I see what you mean. Yeah, I won't have to put the link on the, the QR because I was just thinking I'll put that QR code on on my video as well. Well, you time. can you can put a different QR code that takes it so, somewhere else. Yeah, I see. What you're yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make Isn't a QR that awesome, code. Ty Baker? I'll make, on, a, I'll, make a, I'll make a I'll make a I'll make a QR code for the YouTube to put on here. There you go. And then that way, it'll uh, it'll get of that. Yeah, because all of them go into the Sprang Bro Sessions playlist. Um. Yeah. That was another change that I had made a week or so ago. Is I, I always stream to Twitch TV backslash Brian Burrow 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 <laughs> sessions. Um, but uh, the the last three or four streams that I've done live streams, I've actually been doing on YouTube uh, because I just trying to get to not a bigger platform because Twitch is huge. But I feel for me in my situation in my life and my you know the people that that I find supporting us and what we're doing here, I find it's just easier for them to access probably YouTube than it would be to access uh, Twitch. Yeah. Twitch. Um, well, and I also you know I, I usually always will take the audio of these and put them up on on the sound count the SoundCloud page, so you can you know I, I know it's not perfect and I I haven't done them all you know whatever. Uh, but I've been trying to make sure to stay on it. So I always do the audio and put it You're on the tired. SoundCloud. <laughs> so that way it also puts it on Spotify and some of the other ones, but yep. you know, well, I'm, I'm actually going to be looking into, um, forget what it's called now. I got to look into it because, um, what the hell is it? Let's add it. It is called, um, I had it in here somewhere. Where did it go? Farmers only. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. I, that's 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 where I got my my profile on. Um, <laughs> yeah, they call <laughs> <laughs> they call me Thick Belt Cowboy. Uh, anchor, anchor, anchor for podcasts and stuff. I'm anchor. gonna look into that because it it automatically throws your stuff it onto SoundCloud. Yeah, it dist distributes everything. Plus, well, yeah, well, let me know when you ads on that there, and that'll, and, and you can actually get a revenue from that too, because you don't have to have a minimum audience. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I got to look into it a little bit more and do a little bit more research. I just learned about it the other day, so um, it's in my notes for for things to look into, which probably along with like any other things. <laughs> so uh, 
you know, as much as I could sit here and talk about how great a guys you are and, you know, okay, oh, on, dare I say it, <laughs> handsome, okay, whatever, whatever, pump the brakes, bro. Uh, but you Trying said, to get that handlebar mustache going. this is going to you, my friend Ty Bigger. So you were saying the other day uh, that you were playing that, that game Splitgate that we've, you know, all mm-hmm. been recently squadding up and playing when we, when, you know, a little bit when we can. Uh, so right now with Splitgate, it's uh, spooky. What? Spooky. Halloween theme. Spooky gate. Yes. Halloween theme. Their first one. And uh, they said that they're going to be doing this a lot more often. They said they're going to be doing one for Christmas, um, you know, with new skins and, and, you know, cosmetics and things like that. Uh, kudos to them. I, I do have a bunch of news that, I, that we, we could go into that if we needed to. But the more I, I think they should have called it split, Splittober would have been a little bit better. Well, Man. yeah, I think I think what they I think what they did with the the spooky gate. I mean that 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 makes it genuine. I get it, and then yeah. it's a revolving I, I, event. I yeah. get that. Um, spooked over. I like that. Um, split over. Split over. Yeah, that, I, I see where you're going with all that. That's genius. But they have a they had a game mode you were playing the other day. Time. What, what, what was it? What was it about and stuff? Because I was curious because I haven't played it, and you guys were talking a little bit about it. Oh, uh, the bats there. What was that game mode called? Oh, yeah. Fa- that's uh, fast, fast bats or something. Do you remember what it was called, Ty? Uh, there's fast bats, and then there it's was fast bats here. Uh, there's Super King of the Hill, which is a similar game mode, but you have a shotgun and that never needs reloaded. Like, you literally just run around and you just shoot as fast as you can. Oh, really? And uh, I personally believe that it is a shenanigans game mode because uh, I will shoot somebody three times, and then from the same distance, they will shoot me once and kill me every time. I figured out, I figured out what that is, is that as soon as they start, as soon as you see somebody running at you with a shotgun, if you start to back away as they're running at you, right after their first shot, you move forward. Um, because... It's once you're in a certain distance. If you're moving back and they're moving towards you and shooting, you can keep that distance between you two. Their bullets will do less damage, and then right after they shoot, you move forward and you are in that range, that zone of full damage for one shot kill. Interesting. Um, it's happened to me a bunch, and it's 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 tough to, to pull off because I see somebody with a shotgun and I'm so used to just charging, you know, and running gunning and and. I've had that happen to me a thousand times with a shotgun. I'm like, fuck, I gotta stop doing that. So now I'm starting to play a little bit more tactical with it, where I'm like baiting people to chase me, and like as they're chasing me, shoot me. And as soon as they shoot once, I I push forward and shoot shoot them. I try not to shoot first when shotguns. Yeah, it makes it sense. Always work, but you know, it's it's fun. When you can get stuff to actually work out for oh, you, yeah. that one. That my one of my personal favorite game modes on that is the Insta Gib. Uh, that and Gun yeah. Game. I played Gun Game with my other two buddies. I love uh, Gun Taylor. Game. Oh, it's it's fun. Taylor and Asher and we were all down like seven points from the leader, and uh, I just kind of had a moment where I just went absolutely berserker mode Wait about and. It. Uh, Taylor Taylor shot me. I shot him. I killed him with three HP. And I just started charging my health again when Asher rounded the corner. And I killed him with two HP left. <laughs> and they're like, dude, that's that's shenanigans. That like, hurts that hurts so much when you see it, because it's like you see how much health they had left. I love that they show you how much health they had left. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, son of a bitch, one HP? Are you fucking serious? Well, <laughs> it's just always funny because whenever you play that or free for all, you know, you're always squatted up with your homeboys. So you guys are puffing your chest, getting ready to go into lobbies and stuff. Like, all right, let's go. But then when you realize you're, everybody looks, they're like, wait, we're playing in Instagram. <laughs> Everybody's like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> then you're in there, and it becomes every man for himself. You're like a every, bunch of every, everybody does this. hyenas going after yeah, each other. And, and when go- you when you shoot your homeboy, and you got two left, and he died. You're like, yeah, like get your You earned it, bro. Step up, get your bullets. 
everybody's leaning back like this, and then insta give or free for all comes up or or a gun game. And everybody's like this. All right, let's go. Yeah, because <laughs> you know, because you know the guy, uh, the, the guy beside you. If you were sitting beside each other, you'd be like this. Looking at my screen, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, I felt really bad. The game on High Wind where uh, I just, Jamie I and I were playing there. there. I was sitting right next to him, to the right of him. Yeah, it's just I, I spawned in and I just seen a red shoulder and like part of a back sticking out in front of me. And I was like, hmm, oh, I can aim that. while I'm waiting. So I'm just going <laughs> to aim right at where he is. And then as soon as it hits zero, I'm just going to pull the trigger. Uh, and then it said, uh, said, you're dumbfounded. And I was like, oh, dang it. It's not <laughs> I, was I was like, that was some straight bullshit. <laughs> it was, though. <laughs> Be right in front of him and spawn me, <laughs> dude. Oh. I was watching. It's a, fun stuff, though. I was That's watching, the way I was watching a stream of that, and uh, it might have been yesterday or the day before. And uh, they were streaming. You know, it was actually Splitgate themselves streaming the game on Twitch, and uh, they were showing like two different teams going. You know, duking it out because it must have been like the tournament. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, small town sirens, bro. Uh, but yes, so, anyways, I'm not, I'm not. this is awkward. Uh, no, uh, it's coming. <laughs> Run for the hills, get in the basement. First time I was All right, there. It's winding down, I think. I heard that. Anyway, I thought it was uh, a good warning. <laughs> no, 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 no. Which are fun, aren't they? Uh, so I was watching them stream on Splitgate, and they were, you know, they, they were playing King of the Hill. Um, yeah, I'm like, when you watch all the different modes that people can play, and it's just so, so bonkers to me that for. These bigger tournaments and stuff, they're going king of the hill. Like, you know what I mean? It's just weird to me. It, yeah. You would it figure they'd be people doing. out of being able to lock themselves in. Like, that's the thing with uh, the odd ball where you have like the, the ball that you have to carry around. Uh, we won a game the other day where we were down by like, oh, like 50, 60 points. Like, we were, we were definitely falling behind and uh, we finally grouped up. And the oddball guy got into a like a corner where two different corners like rounded each other and they were coming in from all sides, but no one would be able to see him until they rounded a corner within melee distance. So we would be shooting everybody that was trying to like get into the corner where the oddball was. And it essentially was camping, but it was team team effort yeah. because we were down and we were trying to get up. And we literally ended up winning the game in that spot. Like we just we all held our roles really well and like that's yeah, a, a, really strategic, a strategic plan yeah. strategic it is yeah. and it's and that's they'll they'll do strategic things too where they'll set up like three different portals and they'll have a guy going with the oddball guy that they both portal together and so they're just pinging through the whole map the whole time and you're just you can't chase them so at least we give ourselves you know the here we are come and get us type of <laughs> thing because it shows exactly where you are and everybody yeah. knows what we're doing they yeah, just wherever the ball is yeah, it was the problem is is when you get into a situation where a whole team is either running together through team deathmatch or any other game mode. If there's a whole team together, you as a whole team have to assault that whole team. Because one guy can't take out four guys. Well, that, split that, that would make sense you of why can, you know putting it in that perspective. That would definitely make sense of why they would be doing those type of games. You know, it's kind of like Overwatch in those games where they make yeah. you have to work together as a team. Team deathmatch. You know, the, that game actually their team deathmatch is probably my least favorite of all of them. To be perfectly honest, uh, I think the gun selection on team deathmatch sucks. I like it. Game mode's yeah, demo, yeah. But gun selection sucks. Yeah, I just I just feel like there's there's uh I wish that they were I mean I understand why they want to keep everybody with the same weapons for you know for your starter weapons and then they have like the power weapons throughout. I like that, but at the same time I'm like, yeah, I do wish there was a that little bit worse. more. I wish it started yeah. with an assault rifle and not a single shot. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Personally, Which, yeah, yeah, but I know that that yeah, does make the game more competitive and it makes it more strategic because then yeah. you have to go pick up 
an assault rifle if you want one. Yeah, because I, mean, I, I get shots it. I get four, it. I guess that's, that's we, single shots on four you, shot kill. You know what that is? That is me being, you know, kind of lazy. And that is the the gamer mentality of today. And you know what? I have to be open to new things. And, new. you know, that is, uh, you know, it's going to make you just work You're harder. Allowed to have, you know, it makes you work harder as a gamer. Yeah. You're allowed to have gripes, though. I mean, you just, not, not everybody's going to enjoy all the same stuff. And I get that. I mean, that, that gun is not the best gun in, in, a lot of, in a lot of game modes. In some game modes, it's good. But, you know, uh, it, it's... If, and also that game that gun is the kind of gun that's more for keyboard and mouse. You know what I mean? Like yeah. those guns are kind of hard. That's true. That for, makes sense. For, you know because that, that would make sense. You know what I mean? Like um, that's more of a, a keyboard and mouse gun. You know what I mean? You get that close quarter stuff. That's where controllers shine. Uh, keyboard and mouse shines more. Um, on the on the long distance shots because you can aim in finer and things like that. So that's where that gun would be. If I was really good at keyboard and mouse, I bet you I would love that gun. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. I like it a lot as a um, starter or a finisher, shooting two two shots yeah. at me, like medium range as they're like jumping through the air. You know, you hit them twice and then you switch to your assault rifle as they're coming out from behind a pillar or something. You know, you poof, shoot them real quick. But I've had a lot of people that have absolutely waxed me with that gun, and then I've done the same. That, that was the gun that I loved that got me, like, super hype for my first game of Splitgate because yeah. it was on Oasis, really big open map, and we played against really easy people, and yeah. it was just like, it's a slaughter fest because if you see someone, all you have to do is land four shots, and it's not that hard to land shots with that gun. Yeah. Uh, but when you're in close quarters, I was at long range, like, the whole time shooting people on the first game I played. Yeah, uh, I think the first four close quarters that gun is not not a preference. The SMG is also garbage. I, I'm not a fan of the SMG. Oh, I love the SMG. Oh, you know, I actually shit. I do I do like it in this game. Uh, it's crazy. Oh, you gotta, you but gotta, again, you know what? These the are all these are all adapting to a new game, a new style because mm -hmm. it, it challenges you in a different way than that, like because a lot of the games are based off the same meta is that what you call it the, the same yeah you know the same foundation and stuff and i i it, you know as much as it's weird and maybe foreign to me and it's like oh god why is it like that but i think maybe that's what i also enjoy about it is because it is different you know but the smg that that gun to get used to it is it really works on certain on certain maps again there's a lot of yeah. guns well, that don't work on their maps i do find well. myself pretty much only you know hip firing these days on everything i don't i don't even think with the sniper rifle i even look down the scopes very often uh i find myself doing it out of habit and then having to break myself of that habit after i've started <laughs> it's i i really like the sniper because uh you can quick scope with it pretty easily um it it can be a really good gun if the headshots are landing when you're like trying to quick scope and stuff. But I mean, I don't know. That's I I've just am a huge fan of the sniper all around because it does 65 damage. So two shots guaranteed dead. You know, <laughs> if you get a lucky headshot, one shot kill. But other than that, even if you hit them once, people who are if you're in the game mode like uh, oh crap, uh, what's the one that's like uh, search and destroy, but it's not search and destroy. I mean, this is you just start with one life or it's one life with uh, time to respawn. Yeah, that I game mode is my yeah. favorite because you start with two random guns every single time. Uh, if it's a one life thing, you know, you try to play a little more tactically. If it's a delayed start thing, you work together as a team to eliminate multiple guys at the time. That way you could be going, you know, three against one or two against one, whatever. Um, I really like that game mode a lot, but it's the the randomizing of the guns is the main thing I like about it. Yeah, and that's why I love gun game so much. Which the ones last night on gun game were just the same sets of guns like every game we played because there was no yeah same challenge yeah you still have the same I think it's the same set every time but it's just it's just nice you know like yeah. I don't know um, I know there's SWAT there's uh, VIP uh, laser tag Fiesta. Yes, this fun. That's that's one where every time you die, you start with two new guns. It's like Team Deathmatch, Fiesta, and yeah, yeah, every yeah. time you die, you can come back with a rocket launcher and a baseball bat, a sniper shotgun, a pistol and a bat. I mean, it could be anything. 
and you just that's that's like their setup and yeah. i enjoy it a lot that, that one's fun for me <laughs> there's takedown which is takedown uh, that's the one then there's like uh team takedown or something like that or uh, it says the goal is to eliminate all players on the enemy team. As players accumulate more deaths, their respawn time will increase. The time that earns the victory in four rounds will be deemed the winner. That's the three versus That's three ranked one. game as well. Um, which then there's showdown, which is very similar to takedown, but there That's won't be respawns. Hmm. Sounds like yeah, those are my top two favorites. Gotcha. But if you do competitive. Uh, you don't get random guns. Like in regular showdown and takedown, you get randomized guns every time. In competitive, you get the single fire and the pistol. That's your two weapons you get. Which is, it challenges you because, like as Jamie was just saying, like if you want a really good gun, there's battle rifles right off the rip you just in front of you. That's the first good gun you can get. There's SMG in front of you. There's assault. sniper on one side. and you know. I do uh, I do more. find myself really liking that game mode. That, that, uh, takedown or whatever it is that whatever the one is the 3v3 uh mm -hmm. you know i i do it gets it gets so competitive but i feel it's always on the same board every single time it's like these special maps and there's three different versions it's of called them, simulation yeah simulation and yeah, yeah they're they're basically the same but slightly different some of them well, have like different it's a large map that they broke up into three sections mm -hmm. ah from what i understood well, they'll, you know, I, I can't wait till a future update when they add a couple more, you know, maps to that. But I'm sure they will in time, just like they promised to grow and adapt to new gaming and stuff and make it also do their own thing. Oh, yeah. They, Which they, is a copy they, of a bunch of other things, but I like it. <laughs> it's a free version of all those things, just yeah. the best things from each one of those things. So It's pretty fucking great. Only yeah, copyright if you're 80%. Of what that thing is. So, you know, if you just take 20% here, 20% there, 20% here, <laughs> you're golden. No, it's I, I enjoy the game a lot. They, they did a good thing there. I didn't think yeah, I was going to video it. games, as long as they don't steal the assets, they can pretty much copy the same formula as any, of any game they want. <laughs> See, yeah, I, makes feel, sense. I feel that uh, it being so competitive it, it, in its own right, it, it doesn't... It's, it feels different when you're playing it because I played I played a lot of Overwatch at a time, and that game was always like overwhelmingly frustrating if you're playing with a team and the team's not working together. And then yeah. you know they're like, oh well, if you want to get better, you just have to learn how to do your part, but also carry the other the other players. It's like, dude, if one person out of the six people is doing shit, then the other five ain't got a chance to to to, to compensate for it. They all have to be doing yeah. well individual you know and uh you know it, this game kind of brings that made that meta and that 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 type of competitiveness without the frustration games are short you know you just get in yeah. and play it and you're done and uh you know i i just i i really throw out a lot of kudos to that game uh i just even when i'm getting waxed you know, playing that game, I don't feel like it's the most frustrating, annoying thing. Even if I was to spawn, let's say, in front of one of my 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 friends that shoots <laughs> me because we're playing a game of uh, cat and mouse, and right then and there That's he's the theater. mouse. Uh, yeah, this game's rigged. Um, but he, uh, you know, that that's what makes it a lot of fun um, because they. You only get beat for so long, and then it's on to the next one. And you can choose yeah. you, you can choose your game modes, so you're not forced to play the same one or two all the time. There, there's you know rolling rolling maps and stuff in pretty much every <clears throat> mode, even in ranked, with the exception of takedown, which is three v three. That one doesn't rotate. I think that's why I feel like it needs different maps because since the game mode doesn't change, something should probably change a little bit more. Uh, but I, I guess in another way, if you want to look at it in a different perspective, maybe that also makes it more familiar. And uh, then you, you can get really comfortable with one area, knowing where you are, knowing where they're flanking from, knowing all that. And then it does just become a game of repetition and just trying to, you know, what kind of game do you want? Do you want a run and gun or do you want to sit back and let them come to you? But either yep. way, you have that option and that, that decision to make for yourself. So, Yeah, it's. Uh, I think with Takedown, they really wanted to make it Instead of having, you know, like all the other maps are kind of 
look more organic. They don't, they're not like a, a, a mirror image, like side by side, you know what I mean? Except for like not one, I think one of them is like, a, is almost a mirror image, you know what I mean? Like they took half one map and then just turned it around to put together. Um, I think they wanted to have a set map that was basically a one for one version of the same map, you know what I mean? Like half and half um, mirror image. So that way it was more even on that type of game mode. I don't know. I still, I still don't think I can think of for that. I would make it want them want to have it like set up like that. Something that I thought was very impressive, and I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you know anyone playing the game has been practicing it to get a little bit more fluid because they are very necessary. But watching the that stream and you watch those guys that are playing and and girls, just so we're clear, or whatever they choose to be, um, and they're allowed to, by the way, uh, but. Um, watching them all play, you see the the usage of portals is so frequent. Um, mm-hmm. What a move that I find that a lot of them are doing is, you know, they'll throw in here, they'll throw in there, they'll jump this one, jump that one, point over there, jump through that, and they just, you know, they know which ones are going to lead them down down a set of stairs or back up in quickest repetition. And as soon as they get to the one spot, they'll throw the portal behind them. They'll jump through it, and they'll get right behind them. And by that point in time, they don't even notice that they have a portal behind them. So they're they're by a set of stairs. They're waiting for them to run up the stairs. As soon as they see those guys, and they're all, they're like, "What the hell? I know they're coming!" And then they're getting shot from behind because mm-hmm. that person. As soon as they come around the corner, they shot that portal. They jump through it, and like, dude, it's so smart. It's so smart. And I'm like, dude, I am gonna have to just keep practicing that. Yeah. yeah, that's why there was a guy doing that to us yesterday on the uh, the stadium map. And it was every single time you would see him come running, he'd put a portal behind you, and then he'd put a portal right on the corner he was about to round. And he would just zip like you would be waiting for him to come around the corner because you just watched him run around that wall, and he zip, zip, and he was right behind you. He had double kills, triple kills. Like, he was waxing our team hard. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, oh, that, that was... That was a bad one. Like it was, we tr- like we killed him a few times, but he was just so quick at it, and his other teammates were so quick to just be in where we were at all the time. Like he was the dominating factor, but we were constantly distracted by his also good teammates. Uh, but then you know they would wound us, we would take out a couple of them, and then he would just wax everybody that was over there. You know, people that just spawned, people that just taken damage, everybody. It was. It was cool. It was just like you were saying, Jamie. It's like, man, I can't wait till I get more fluid with my portal and around like that. And it'll completely change how the game is played. Portals in that game are like the aerials of Rocket League. <laughs> yeah. Basically. You get really good at portaling, you're going to be doing well. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hard to, ma- hard to master, but fun to, to fool around with. Oh, yeah. And all open, you know, obviously it can also be the most frustrating thing when it, when they don't go right. Because you're like, mm-hmm. you throw the, your thing down, you throw the other thing behind them, you go to jump in it, and then you dirk and dirk hitting the wall because somebody can't throw a grenade and, you know, got rid of your other portal on the wall mm-hmm. because they're coming around a corner. So then you turn around because you know they're about to shoot you, you know. Uh, <laughs> but that game, it is something, though, man. It gets so it gets it gets so involved, where you know you're just like looking around and you're like, all right, you got a portal up on the top of the ceiling, and you're sitting there just looking around, looking through it. You like got your little gun, and you're looking, all right, all right. I'll, here's hey guys, there's one over here. Then you jump through the portal, and then you get shot in the face, and you're dead, and you're like, shit, all that for nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I've <laughs> uh, been there many times, but there is something gratifying about killing someone through the portal, ain't there? Oh yeah. As soon as it starts Especially, blinking, you shoot it right in the right in the, the, the right around the you know sixty five to eighty five percent up, you know. You know oh yeah. Bow headshot because they're usually crouched the, down. Oh yeah. The uh, that's what was really fun about playing gun game the other day with my buddy Asher is he put a uh, he put a portal up way up on a sign and uh, took a huge lead because I, I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. Neither was anybody else. And he just kind of hung in the back of the map, put his little portal up there and was just sitting there just mowing people down with all the different guns from gun game. And uh, 
<laughs> and I finally caught him doing what he was doing. And uh, I've I seen his portal up there, and it just so happened that I was on the sniper. And so I just whipped around the corner and just aimed up, immediately seen Red pull the trigger, and it just headshot through the portal. He's like, oh, you got me. And I was like, you sneaky, <laughs> sneaky son of a gun. I know where you're at now. I seen oh. your kill cam the last time you killed me through that portal. So... <laughs> One, I started hunting him. Yeah, and he was know, already too far ahead. What makes that uh, that move nothing. that he was doing, and you, as you know, the only, the difference between that and, and you know, quote unquote, camping is just like in Overwatch. This game it shows your position pretty much the whole time. Like you don't, you yeah. you see enemies through you know through the walls and things like that, and uh, you know. It, if somebody's waxing you from up at the top, like you see it coming, you might get shot and you're like, where the hell did he get me? Then the kill cam will show you. You'd be like, Oh, he's just over there hiding behind that little, uh, <laughs> got little it. Little car and crate. Mm, I, come now I know for, where he is. I come up for <laughs> you fool. <laughs> and we got, um, December 8th, we've got uh halo infinite coming out boys. So we got our free multiplayer for that game. Hey, you know, it's going to be fun. I feel that that's going to be, you know, a, a new adventure. Uh, I did get to, you know, to play it some. Um, and uh, I, I had a lot of fun. I'm curious to see what they're going to do. Um, I know a lot of people are really anticipating it. A lot yeah, I can't of people. wait. It's going to be fucking fun. I think the first day is going to be a shit show. Which is, why, I... which is why, you know, it's going to be fun to play. <laughs> oh, absolutely i can't wait because i you know the, yeah I'm, i gotta put the funds away to uh be able oh. To, oh oh it's free to play huh yeah <laughs> free <laughs> multiplayer yeah free multiplayer that's, gonna that's be, pretty much all they're playing anyway i think i th you know um, a lot of people i've seen are you know online and in articles i've read people are like oh man infinite's coming out the multiplayer and like no we you know, barely anyone's talking about the actual game that's coming out. It's gonna have a new campaign. It's gonna, yeah. you know, have all that. And everybody's just excited about the free to play. And I think that's something that was, you know, pretty cool with Warzone. You know, the way that they they tag it, and that's how we had discussed previously that Halo's gonna do the same thing. You know, most likely is pull it over if they, you know, when they come out with more. Uh, but it's yeah. still standalone, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, dude, December eighth will be upon us soon. Very soon, you know, Wednesday, yeah. which is cool. So that means Tuesday night when I get home from work, an hour later I can play. Or not even actually, because I'm getting eleven forty-five. Oh <laughs> yeah, home. we'll be ready. That's for sure. That's why I'm going to be. Yeah. I might take a mini vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Sorry, Don't we can't come Wednesday. in for. No. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. Oh no, man, that's a month away. I can I can let them know at work that I like to use a PTO day, and they, mm -hmm. they you know everybody deserves to get a day off. It's their time. Yeah. that's our yeah. philosophy of work. It's your time. You do it what you will, man. Uh, we are just here to make it work. We're not here to, to you know, we're just gonna make it work. You got to live your life too. So it's pretty awesome. Yep. But uh, I always joke around at work, and I'm like, yep, yeah, probably gonna take off those days take a day or two off so I can play it and stay up all night. And, you know, why the hell there you not? Go. Sure. But, yeah, it'll uh, be fun. I can't wait. There's a bunch of free games coming out. And it's going to be, it's going to be a good year, you know, for video games. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's, there's always a double-edged sword that, you know, like Warzone, Warzone came out. At first, the hacking wasn't so bad, but then as time got on and it became bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, the hacking thing is kind of a little bit out of control now, but that's what happens with a free to play, you know? Um, yeah. the bigger, yeah. the bigger, sure it gets. Halo too. yeah, yeah. You know, it's just part of the, part of the free to play model, you know? But although yeah. people don't really complain about the old halos, you know, they all, they love all of them, you know, it mm -hmm. wasn't like Titanfall where people were really upset because the game wasn't, you know, was broken and stuff like that. Halo's never been like that. They've always got the game as good as they could get it. And, uh, now that's mm -hmm. something that's new for them is now they have the availability to do all the updates. Um, you know, with this free to play. So, I mean, I think they're going to take it to a different area and, uh, us, you know, as gamers, we're just sitting back saying, okay, what's it going to be? How, how are you going to do this? Take my money. Yeah. 
I'll, I'll pay it's it to the game. Money. I'll pay you yeah, for I the can't game. wait. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good uh, a good thing. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with like the upgrades and and um, all that stuff. Yep. Um, but we're still gonna have all the other games we currently play, which is gonna be good. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll have lots of variety, which is nice. Apex has kind of taken a pretty bad turn for the worst lately. Yeah, but you, you uh, saw the new new character. I gotta run to the. Take yeah, it. yeah, Ash, the uh, the pilot, the pilot for the Ronin pilot in the campaign of Titanfall Two. She's uh, oh. she's gonna be um, uh, returning in Apex, and becoming a, a new playable character in Apex. Uh, so the story's pretty cool for her. And the abilities are pretty cool too. She's got like that Ronin, that Ronin uh, phase that he does. You know how Ronin phases away mm-hmm. in Titan Ball 2? She's got that. She can like phase through the walls, I guess. Like she can do that that phase thing right through a wall. Um, wow. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. I think that's how. I think that's how it works. I'm not 100 percent sure on how the ability works, but that's what it looks like at least. Um, and she's got a big sword like Ronin had. Not the not the same size as Ronan, but she's got like yeah. a big sword and a little rat. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you remember Titanfall Two campaign, the robot chick that was inside the Ronan, uh, um, the Ronan uh, Titan. Do you remember her? It's been a while. Yeah, she was, she, we 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 crushed her and destroyed her in the Titanfall game. But her conscious was uploaded to another robot or something. I forget how it, how it worked, how it worked in the uh, X universe. But she's back. And she's but she has like they really fleshed out. I will I will give them this. They really fleshed out the Titanfall universe. I mean, a lot of the people in the uh, the hardcore Titanfall universe are like uptight and don't are upset. I lo- I know I understand why they're you know the game that they love to play so much that that's what they only the only game they played is you know shit right now you know what I mean like the servers suck there's all kinds of hackers you know there's you know I understand that I understand that they're upset because it's like eight years old now, you know um, so I get where they're coming from but I mean the one thing I will say is that respawn really expanded can't hear you. Respawn really expanded the universe of Apex <laughs> a lot and really built out the, the backstory of a lot of these guys and, and added more depth to the universe with the Apex franchise, you know? Ash is also yeah. the narrator of uh, arenas on Apex. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So it'll be good. It, it's, it'll be cool. I just don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to go back in for season 11 because season 10. We started out okay, and now they've got like they've got bugs that you can't use, like epic hollow sprays. You can't use like legendary banners because it'll freeze, it'll crash servers. Uh, they've got all kinds of bugs that they're just not really that are tough bugs to to fix. But it's it's just if that's how the season's already gone, it's just getting worse. Plus, you know the hackers issues still in there. Um, if they can't fix it for the season eleven launch, which is coming up soon, I just I don't know, you know, if they're going to be able to pull it back. Right? Uh, Tuesday, yeah, I think it's Tuesday. So, yeah, if they can't fix it before that, I don't I don't know if I'm really going to upgrade to a season eleven or not. This might be the first season that I don't get the new character because just I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait until the season's launched and everything's because done. Because reality's before I getting to smacked with Splitgate. So yeah, I don't. I'm just fun. having too much fun. I'm just having too much fun with Splitgate. And don't get me wrong, Rocket League is still always my, yeah. my go-to game. You know? Rocket League, Rocket League's a backup for me. But you know, there's there's other games I can play that aren't as frustrating over server issues and things like that. Yeah, Rocket League, mm, love that game. But Good it's been nice to pass the time a little bit, learn some new stuff. And then when every time I go back to Rocket League, it's like I'm not much of better, you know, because I took time off of it and not overthinking everything all the time in the moment, you know. You're just playing yep. it at that point. <clears throat> um, but, uh, yeah, it's like it was like 40, 
41 degrees the other morning or something cold is upon us uh you know check your furnaces and your uh, smoke alarms and all that other good stuff i know that's what i've been doing around the house i uh, finally got my uh my uh doors made for to cover my patio uh, i was glad to get that nice. out of the way finally um man yeah you know just uh looking forward to spending time doing the things i enjoy just like you guys you know just <laughs> making the best of every day oh yeah um, some Absolutely. days are easier to do that but hey at the end of the day i just always got split gate or something you know <laughs> to get on and occupy my mind oh yeah thank you oh yeah but it's definitely good to get to catch up we haven't been able to do this in a couple of weeks yeah yeah no it's definitely it's always a good time <laughs> Crazy split gate. yeah i'll get on and play some split gate i'm definitely down to clown Wait, man. i don't know what's going on out there just yet i'll have to probably I'll be five minutes or so before i jump on that'll be fine after um, we get done with it's acceptable <laughs> <laughs> Ty, it's really good to to see your face and that glorious beard as always. Absolutely, thank you. It's been it's been fun getting to see you guys as well. Like I said, it's just been a whole bunch of back to back to back full weekends, and uh, I don't know everything. Everything always falls on the time frame when it comes time to do this. Seems like so. It worked out great where I could be here this weekend, and uh, you know, as you can probably hear, the madness that's still happening out there. It's, can't you know, nothing. At least I'm not out there <laughs> as exposed. I got the door. It helps cancel out some of the noise. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Helps out the wall. Yeah. Well, but. I guess uh, I'll be seeing you guys here in a couple of minutes. Uh, to everyone out there, you know, watching the video and stuck around and checked it out. Thank you so much for all you do to support us. Got some new ideas and themes and stuff like that. We're, uh, that we're going to probably do from time to time. Uh, but without you guys, you know, they, they get to check it out. You know, we, we still have a good time, and we're, but we are thankful you're here and able to check it out and share these memories and these thoughts and laughs with us. Stay happy, stay healthy, and don't be afraid to live your best life. Deuces. Deuces.